Barr got more power to review the Russia inquiry. Hey race what we know. Washington U President Trump has given Attorney General William P. Barr extraordinary powers to declassify intelligence secrets as part of his review into how the 2016 Trump campaign's ties to Russia were investigated. That means Mr. Barr, as the president tries to find evidence that he was the target of a political witch hunt, former and current intelligence officials are worried about the exposure of secret sources and sensitive methods. This was an attempted, here is what we know about the origins of the investigation. Why did the FBI investigate? In July 2016, WikiLeaks released Democratic emails stolen by Russian military intelligence officers and posted thousands of internal Democratic National Committee documents revealing information about the Clinton campaign. That same month, those interviews, along with information about Russian hacking, were used to open the FBI's investigation into whether any Trump associate had conspired with the Russian government. On Friday, who was under investigation? As part of the early Russia inquiry, the FBI investigated four Trump associates Mr. Papadopoulos. Paul Manafort, the FBI focused on the men because of their Russian contacts. Mr. Flynn and Mr. Mueller's investigators concluded that they did not have enough evidence to make a case that the men conspired with Russia's election interference campaign. Investigators, what about claims of FBI spying? Mr. Trump and his allies have focused their attention on the FBI's use of an informant who met with Mr. Page and Mr. Papadopoulos to better understand the extent of their possible contacts with Russians. The informant, the FBI director, Christopher A. Ray, has said he was unaware of any illegal surveillance and has refused to call agents for spying. In October 2016, more than two months after the investigation was opened, FBI agents and federal prosecutors obtained approval from a federal judge to wiretap Mr. Page. Mr. Trump's out the wiretap application partly relied on Democratic-funded opposition research compiled into a dossier by Christopher Steele, a former British intelligence officer who was also an FBI informant. Former officials, why do we still care? Because the story involves an attack on an American election by a foreign adversary, presidential authority, the national security bureaucracy and other levers of power, and because Mr. Trump persists in accusing the government officials who investigated him and his campaign of an illegal witch hunt, you or as he said on Friday, the greatest hoax probably in the history of our country. No longer constrained by the Mueller investigation, Mr. Trump appears determined to find ways to prove his accusations that the American intelligence community acted inappropriately. Mr. Trump's allies and other skeptics have also suggested that the Russia investigation actually began earlier than FBI officials have said, suggesting that the Bureau and foreign partners were plotting to take down Mr. Trump, rather than opening an inquiry based on facts. The Australian dip in his report, Mr. Mueller reaffirmed that the FBI had opened the Russia investigation after receiving the information about Mr. Papadopoulos from the Australian government on July 26, 2016. What is Mr. Barr doing? The Attorney General has echoed the President's concerns about spying on Mr. Trump's campaign. Mr. Barr, recent, Mr. Barr also wants to know what the CIA and other American intelligence agencies were doing in 2016 and what they knew about Russia's effort to sabotage the election. The CIA direct on Friday, the president said he hoped that Mr. Barr would look at Britain were going to find out what happened and why it happened. Fuck up.